Hey, today we're gonna to talk about how to get a low EMF wireless router. Let's just say you have to have wireless, you cannot do just the wired thing. Well, how about we cut down that wireless radiation? The thing about wireless today is people want it faster. That means stronger signals, higher frequencies. That's where 5G gets, gets into the whole play here. 5G is an incredibly high frequency. So for EMF conscious people, we need we want to drop that down. The world is getting bigger. Let's get a little smaller, protect our health, but you can still have some of the convenience of the wireless technology with less EMF. Today I'll show you the top pick for a low EMF router, but stick to the end because I have a special bonus and I will show you how to take any router and actually make it lower in EMF. Let's get going. If you're living in the States, there just isn't quite as many options as there are in Europe. In Europe, they're very much more EMF health conscious. So there's a lot more developing out there in regards to reducing EMF and having options. By far the best low EMF Wi-Fi router out there is by JRS Eco, and they're based out of the Netherlands. The downside of that is getting them from over there is a little bit more expensive. This router is, has so many options to get it as low in EMF as possible. They have several different routers out there, but basically at the heart of it all, it has a standby mode, and in some of the routers, the standby mode emits zero EMF radiation. And then once your device connects, it will start transmitting, but then turn off when it's disconnected. Other great options is you have a wireless scheduler. You can fine adjust how far your wireless signal wants to go. So you can increase or decrease for however big of space you need your Wi-Fi signal to go, which is actually really cool because nowadays bigger is always better. You can see like 20 plus people's internets from one area. It's crazy. It's just too much. Let's get it down. Just keep it where it needs to be. And I'm actually interested to know if you know of any others that where you can adjust and have settings like this other than JRS. That'd be great. Just drop them down in the comments. And from this table, you can basically go and just click on the one that you're most interested in and dig in for more more information on it. But let's just say you don't have the extra cash or you're not able to pick a low EMF Wi-Fi router up right now and you just wanna make your own Wi-Fi router lower in EMF. Here are some great options for you. One option is getting a Wi-Fi router guard. A Wi-Fi router guard is basically a mesh metal box or bag, so it has conductive metal around it, and conductive metal deadens Wi-Fi signals. It's very hard for them to penetrate, but it has the little holes, and the little holes will allow some of the Wi-Fi to get out. So it deadens the signal, reduces the signal, so you get less EMF, but you can still stay connected. On the downside, this can sometimes slow your connection down, depending how far away you are from the router. Another thing you can do is get a timer to turn off your Wi-Fi when you're not using it. This one by GE is a nice little timer. Basically, you just flip, flip up right here on the times that you don't want your power to be on, and it's down on the times that you do. And you just turn the little dial here to the time it is right now. So if it were nine o'clock in the morning, I plug it in and it will turn off at 11 at night, turn back on at five in the morning. So you get all of this time where your Wi-Fi is turned off. You're not having that EMF getting you when you're sleeping. The downside of this is it's not super like fine-tuned on the exact time. So if you need it to be at 4.32 a.m. exactly, it's hard to set that. It's just kind of general. But it, for me, it's close enough. And it's, it's pretty inexpensive. And on the top, you can actually, if you don't want, you can decide if you want it just be outlet or if you want to be using the timer. And when you flip it to outlet, it'll still keep the time here. And then when you flip it, it'll go back to using this right here. I'd actually recommend using this in conjunction with everything else we're gonna talk about. Now, the last one is really powerful because on your Wi-Fi router, you have different bands here. You have 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Now, five gigahertz is faster, but produces more EMF. So let's talk about faster for a minute. So EMF travels all at the same speed, but when you say faster, it means you have more up and downs in the wave within the same amount of distance. So 2.4 gigahertz might go like this, five gigahertz going like this, okay? And the more of this, the more energy. And that's why it can't travel as far. And so it's really good not to be close to your router because the energy is higher. And that's why it's always good to create a lot of distance between yourself and any wireless signal source. What you can do on your router is actually turn off the five gigahertz and only operate at the 2.4 gigahertz. This, this uh, significantly will cut your EMF, but it will slow your speeds down a little bit. So you have to decide if you're okay living with that, which for most of us EMF conscious people, you'll be all right. All you have to do is actually log into your modem and turn it off. I'll show you how to do that right now. 
I actually decided to do a whole separate video on all the exact steps to dis log in and disable it. So be sure to check the video description and get all the details there. You'll know that it's turned off by when you turn it off, the light will stop blinking here on your router. That is how you can reduce the EMF quite significantly just from your own router. And that's how you can have a low EMF Wi-Fi router, enjoy your Wi-Fi with less EMF. If you're interested in picking up some free EMF gear, like a uh, EMF detector or other cool and helpful EMF products, be sure to check the description. You have the chance of getting free EMF gear like this delivered to your door just by subscribing to our newsletter that we fill full of helpful EMF protection tips. So join us. And we're happy to take you on this journey to live a healthier and happier life. Jeremiah, EMFSA family, take care and we'll talk to you in our next video. Bye.